Hello. I am honored to share this time with you. I am Pastor Wayne Sheeler of Grace Lutheran Church in Royersford. During this season of Lent, we take an intentional faith journey to reflect on our need for a Savior. Along the way, we prepare for Easter, the great celebration of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, which makes eternity available to us. In these weekly midweeks meditations, I will be sharing with you a scripture text, a brief message, and a prayer in the hope that they will bolster your Lenten journey. Today's text comes from Matthew, the sixth chapter. Beware of practicing your righteousness before others in order to be seen by them. For then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the streets so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your alms may be done in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners so they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, Go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. In my Lutheran tradition, most of the scripture texts are seen once every three years. But on Ash Wednesday, we always utilize this text from Matthew. For many years, it was troubling to me that on the day that we receive an extremely visible ashen cross on our forehead. We are charged not to practice our righteousness, our faith, publicly. It was many years before I came to understand that the action which can be seen does not necessarily reveal the why in the person who did what they did. There was a young couple out on their first date man and a woman, and they had just finished dinner, and they were walking down the sidewalk back to the car. Up ahead of them, they noticed that there was a man sitting on the sidewalk, leaning against the building next to a doorway with a can in front of him as he was begging for assistance. While they were still a few steps off, a pizza delivery man came out of the opening to the building, the doorway, and saw the man there and put a $5 bill in his can and went on his way. As the couple got close enough, the woman reached into her purse and put a $10 bill in the can. And the man reached in and put 10 also. As it happened, one of God's angels was observing this entire scene and dashed off to heaven to report the generosity to St. Peter. Did you see that? The wonderful caring that they gave this beggar, $25. St. Peter replied, I've already got it all here in the ledger, see? $15. But the angel, but they, they gave 25 Well, true, they put 25 in the can. The pizza person and the woman gave 15 out of their care and concern. The man only gave $10 because he wanted to be well thought of by the woman. That doesn't count here. It's all about the why. While we can observe what another person does, different people can do the same exact action and not mean the same thing. Doesn't come from the same why. Because an action does not clearly reveal the meaning or the why of the action. Jesus is supremely concerned with why we do what we do. So I encourage you this Lenten season, this 40 days, to reflect on what it is that drives your actions. What is your why? Spend some time today and in the coming weeks in prayer and discussion with God about your whys. It can be an incredibly 
fruitful time for your faith. Together we pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you hate nothing you have made. And you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and honest hearts so that truly repenting of our sins, we may receive from you the God of all mercy, full pardon and forgiveness through your son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. I pray that your day and your journey will prove fruitful for your faith.